Hi, this is Gabe with Duplicating Systems, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Canon's Advance Box to your Mac computer. So first, after getting your Canon copier on onto your local area network, go onto a browser of your choice and type in your Canon's IP address. If you don't know how to find your Canon's IP address, you can click on this gray card in the upper right corner. And in that video, we'll show you how to find your IP address for your Canon copier. But in my case, the IP address is 192.168.1.81. From this login page, go to Administrator, or type in your administrator's username, which in my case is Administrator and then go ahead and type in your password. From this page, click on Settings Registration, Network Settings, SMB Server Settings, and click on Use SMB Server. Now for this version, I'm going to be using the version of Advanced Box that doesn't have any security login for example so this is going to be the least secure way of using advanced box but of course there are more secured ways of using uh, advanced box there's better security options available but in this video I'm going to show you how to just set it up to where anybody can can log on to the copier only within your network however so after clicking on use SMB server click OK And from here, go to Store Access Files, Advanced Box Settings, Set Details. For Open to Public, click on Buy SMB. And now Authentication Type, Basic. And from here, make sure Allow to Create Personal Space is clicked. And Save Operation Log, clicked as well. For file formats allowed for storing, click on this and select all. This will allow you to store any file format onto your advanced box on your Canon copier. But if you only select device supported formats, it will only allow you to put on PDF, JPEG, and TIFF. But in this, on this install, I'm going to select all so that you can store any file type on your Canon copier. I'm going to click OK. If you see this, that's fine. Go ahead and click close. And now go to the upper left corner and click on S apply settings changes. This will restart your machine and go ahead and restart, restart your device. And click on this last button, perform restart. After restarting your Canon copier, Log in as the administrator. Now go to scan and store. Advanced box. Advanced box details. And record the shared space information. Now that you've found your Canon share ID, go back to your Mac and open up Finder and then click on the buttons command K at the same time and this will bring up a connect to server dialog box in this top bar type in the Canon share ID which in this case is Canon AF3804 now click on connect and since there's no security level on this on this uh, install, go ahead and click on Guest. And now click on Share. And you can see that this Mac has now been connected to the Canon copier. Here's the folder that I created on the copier, Gabe's folder. And you can see that it's empty. For a demo, I'm going to upload this. 
PDF DSI's video library, and I'm going to drop it into the to the Canon's shared folder. You can also upload to your Canon's advanced box by going to Scan Store, Advanced Box, your shared space, and then into your folder. And then you can place a document into your ADF and scan it in like normal. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us down in the comments below or contact us directly at Duplicating Systems. Our contact information is in this video's description. I hope this video helped and thank you for watching.